Hey YouTube, it's your girl Simply Love and I'm just here to do your monthly reading for December 2018 for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign of uh, Aquarius. How you doing Aquarius? Welcome to my channel. Um, I had to redo you guys' videos because um, when I first started doing it, um, I had a terrible cold or uh, uh, allergies and I just felt drained. I really, you know, wanted to get it out, and um, but I just felt like when I viewed it, I kind of viewed my videos to see if, you know, the the lighting, if the, if, you know, if you know the, the uh, audio and things like that is going to be, you know, properly. And then I looked at it, and I was like, wow, it looks like I'm just not, you know, really into it. So I said, let me just go ahead and re redo the ones that I felt like I you know felt even look drained and sniffling a lot of all that kind of stuff so i had an allergy uh thing and then i had you know a, a, a better drill so that made me even a little bit more slouchy so i was like no i want to you know you know give my best let me just do it all over again so um here we go with aquarius sun moon rising and venus um remember the messages that are coming in could be vice versa and remember we're reading for the entire world so this is not going to resonate with everyone okay and what messages you do get you know it's not going to determine your uh destiny you would need to have your own personal private reading for that you're welcome to contact me below everything is listed there if you are uh, out of the country please contact me through Skype or email me and we can set up you know a Skype or um, a FaceTime you can actually watch me shuffle the cards and show you the cards as we're going along with the reading um, you can have a private personal video made done privately sent to your email or wherever you want it sent to okay um, so with that being said, just to let you know as well that these messages are coming in from spirit, not me. I'm just the messenger. Okay. So here we go. I'm going to start out doing a find, uh, the peace within yourself, finding peace within yourself. I'm going to start out with my deck here, uh, love letter tarot. All right. That's my deck that I created, you know, for, for, um, for you guys, you know, if you'd like to purchase them. And it does have like six or seven extra cards, uh, which are bonus cards. Okay. They're easy for anybody to read at the comfort of your own home if you'd like. Again, they're they're on my website, uh, and the web website is listed below in the description. If you'd like to purchase them, just go once you go to the site, go to the tab that says more, and it'll drop down box and it'll show you all my cards that's there. I have some inspirational cards, and that's what I've been mainly focusing on as well. To, so, um, I can uh, really, really help you guys on a personal level, you know, uh, when you're at home and, and if you're going through some things, um, if you're in some type of doubt, I'm working, spirit is helping me work on you know putting these decks together to uplift your spirit to uplift your day to make you feel better as you're going on your journey your path when it comes to to love relationships or even just yourself as you know learning to love who you are you know jumping through obstacles and you know when things kind of get you down i want to be able to have cards there where you can just like you know draw them yourself at home and um and lift yourself back up again okay so to find your peace what I want to first start out with is um, your mental space what's your mental space and finding your peace which is the three of earth now remember this could be general here okay I'm, I'm gonna base this upon general because it could be in any situation whether it's love family friends it doesn't matter okay with the three of earth which is the three of Pentacles okay in a regular tarot deck that talks about um like your mental space is like working you know like uh some type of uh collaboration um growing something being uh creative um again i feel like it's some type of collaboration for some of you uh when it comes to some type of work or if it's a love relationship it's about collaborating and working with someone in a love relationship that's your mental space that's what you're that's what's on your mind um talks about apprentice apprentice you know like uh, uh maybe you some of you are thinking about 
doing your own thing, uh, you know, like your own home business or entrepreneurship. Okay. So that is your mental. What's your physical? What's the physical space that you're in right now? What's the physical space? Physical space is the chariot. Wow, that's a major arcana card, the chariot. See the two little kitty? <laughs> this is one black and one is white. Okay, this is somebody who's pulling their self together here. You know, because they always talk about duality. You know, the black and the white, you know, represents duality or, you know, um, but it's actually unity. It really is. It's, it's all about unity. It's not about separating yourself. It's about pulling yourself together. That if it is a duality, you know, sometimes that's man's way of, uh, you know, separation or keeping people separated. But this is a card of pulling your, you know, that thing together and making it a unit, you know, like a unit, unit, a unity. It's about unity. It's pulling yourself together or coming together with someone and just like taking off, making that new start, just like ain't even looking back at the past, not even worried about the past. This could be the yin and the yang where it is unified now. You're unified with yourself. That's your physical space right now. And you're moving forward. You're charging forward. That's a major arcana card. That is destiny for you, Aquarius. You're in your own age. Remember that. Okay. Let's see if there's a problem, if there is any problem as far as uh, finding peace or find to find your peace. If there's any problem. Um, sorry about that if y'all heard anything. Well, it's the nine of earth, okay? The nine of earth talks about a, uh, the... the we're talking about some type of earth energy, so it's some kind of grounded energy for some of you. You'll be talking about your 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 work, okay? Your your work. Um, it talks about you could be worried about you know accumulating. Maybe your mind is on your money, your money on your mind. <laughs> okay, that could be the problem. Maybe you're like kind of overworking yourself or overdoing it, and you're you know just kind of worried about yourself and accumulating <laughs> accumulating to you know maybe a little bit too hard focusing a little bit too hard on this money situation okay because you are moving forward here yes you are sorry about that y'all yes you are working hard you know, you're pulling it together here with this chariot here. It's like you're moving forward. You ain't, you don't care about nothing in back of you, the side of you, or up above you or below you. It's like you just charging forward, okay? <laughs> That's your physical thing. That's what you're doing. You're just on the move. You And you're pull, pulled it together as well. You know, you pulled it together. This is unity here. We ain't talking about separation. We're talking about a together thing. So however that glove fits, wear it, okay? Because it could be your personal life, your love life, or friendship, or work. And I'm looking at it more as work, especially with this nine of earth, which is the nine of pentacles. Talks about somebody being... um. Are you worried about uh, the problem? Is the problem you? Is there a problem where you feel like you're going to uh, lo uh, lose money, or you feel like because that's not the case, or maybe you're being a little bit too independent because that could represent the nine of of Earth or the nine of Pentacles too. Just like you kind of like you see, she got a little drink in her hand or cock to the side. She just kind of like the problem is you may be focusing on money a little bit too much. Okay. For some of you, maybe that, cause it does say a problem. Uh, the, the, the third one. Okay. So what do you need to do? Do you, you need to, to make this slow your roll? Take your time. Take your time. Do it right. You can do it, baby. Do it tonight. Take your time. <laughs>
<laughs> okay, there was three of them there, so I'm not gonna use that. Okay, what should you do? What to do? What to do, Aquarius? Make a decision. That's what I'm feeling like. Kind of like. Come on. Um, what you should do is like be the emperor. You you stay in control. All right. Because it looks like you are. But I don't know what you're worried about it for or why is it a problem. Uh, because you are charging forward. You know what I mean? You you got that uh, unity going on with yourself. You're dark and the dark and the light. You, you've done managed to pull that together. And you ain't. You're not looking back at nothing. You're not looking at this. Like I said, the, the chariot is a wonderful card to have. Okay, that's your physical, that's your physical space. Your mental space is about the three. Uh, you know, like um, working on something, making something grow. Whether it's love, money, finding it doesn't matter. Uh, people, places, things, and you definitely in it to win it. Okay, you're in it to win it. But you know, uh, the what you need to do is kind of like ground yourself. That's what the emperor is very grounded. Stay in charge of your own life. Okay. The emperor is someone who is very, uh, uh, in charge, large and in charge. Okay. That's what you should do. Go ahead on and push forward. Go ahead on and move forward with this, uh, because that's what you want to do anyway. Okay. Regardless of the money okay whatever it is you want to do regardless of it push forward anyway you know stay large and in charge of your own domain because the emperor is large and in charge the emperor is a go-getter the emperor is someone who um who can manifest uh who's very creative uh, and and they very independent you know they have everything that they want without anybody else's help so go for it, Aquarius. Whatever it is you want to do, go for it. Now I'm telling you, the spirit guides are on your side. But you just worry, you know, you kind of like that money. <laughs> that money got you going. Okay, now let's get into your reading. Let's stop playing around. Get into your reading. All right, let's see here. Aquarius, male, female, sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. Let's see what's going on with you for the month of December 2018. Let's just take a little peek here. Remember, this is worldwide, y'all. don't know how many times I have to emphasize that and emphasize that, you know, it's not me um, personally, you know, doing this. That would be a personal private reading, and that's still not me in charge. It's still spirit giving the messages, okay? So that's where we need to, you know, uh, put our focus into what spirit has to say. But you know what? You do have free will to do what you want to do. You really do. Regardless, you still have free will. But, you know, we can't be like the chariot and pull it together and, and unify ourselves with the dark and the light side of ourselves and become unified. Uh, there's no way we can make it. We need some kind of... Uh, structure and, and balance in our life and that's what the emperor is about to balance you got the five of pentacles or you could be dealing with a virgo taurus or capricorn um who you've come out of the cold with okay you come out of the cold with somebody because in the upright it's about somebody you know feeling left out in the cold or feeling abandoned feeling feeling like lost, feeling hopeless. Sometimes that card means feeling, um, it talks about poverty as well when it's in the upright, but it's in the, um, it's in the reverse. So let's see here. Okay. We got the two of swords. 
Two of Swords came up in reverse, okay? So Two of Swords, swords Upright talks about somebody feeling um, where they got to make a decision. Could be Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Um, or, you know, or there's uh, two situations, a heart over... A heart or a heart overhead decision, but it's in reverse. So somebody's not making a decision, or or already made a decision regarding somebody who left who left them out in the cold, or made them feel left out in the cold. Now they made a decision about it. Okay about this particular person, either you or someone around you. Um, and it could be with this king or queen of wands. Remember, the energies could go both ways. And the, um, this could be uh, in somebody's natal chart. You can have uh, fire in your natal chart or the other person can have fire in their natal chart. So like I said, with all the kings, when kings come up in the upright, okay, they are very stable and they're very mature. And they've gotten their self together, okay? They are people who pulled their self together. They done been through some stuff, okay? They're not perfect, okay? There's nobody like perfect, perfect. Even if you're in a relationship, it's just the perfect person for you. I feel like, Aquarius, you found a perfect person for you. For some of you, this could be something that happened in your past. Some of you, it could be happening now. Some of you, it could be it could be with an Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. Let me put that out there, too. Uh, not necessarily, okay? Like I said, we have a lot of stuff in our natal chart, so we can't really pin it down like that. And plus, this is a worldwide reading. So this could be a male or a female as well. Remember that, too. So um, whoever this person is is very confident, Um they're very active, okay? Very active. And they do something on their own, too, from home. So it could be two people doing something from home. And the Seven of Pentacles here is growing. Whatever's going on here with you and this relationship with this person or something, it's it's growing. It's nurturing. It's it's you know it's, you know it's you know you're getting the water, you're watering the plants. It's being nurtured. This relationship is being nurtured with the Seven of Pentacles. You could be dealing with a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, or this could be in your natal chart. But it is growing. Not only just love, but in. It's like taking its time and it's growing. Mm -hmm. Page of Pentacles, again, some of you are dealing with Earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Or, like I said, it could be in your natal chart, or it could be the other person, or it could be you. To where you're going to receive some type of... Uh, pages are about, you know, delivering messages. So you might receive some message about money or somebody wanting to offer you money or give you something. Um, yeah, it's going to be fast communication coming in from this page because the page is about messages and here's another message. It, be, it could be coming from somewhere from afar. Uh, it could be uh, text messages. It could be phone calls. It could be anything of that nature, but it is coming in really, really fast. Some type of, some type of offer from someone. They want to offer you something. They may have something to give you. You may have something to give them. But whoever it is, is from they're from afar or they just like, it could be different city, town, state, country. Could be over the internet. Uh, there's some type of celebrations. Uh, from this communication. It's like some happiness and some joy coming out of this. Somebody's feeling happy. Cups up, you know what I mean? Could be a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio too for some of you. We're not paying attention. We're not paying too much attention. Okay, now we got the Ten of Pentacles. That's the beginning of a, a relationship. Um... So that's where the happiness and joy is coming from. Something starting new here is growing. 
with the seven of pentacles um there's a financial situation here too somebody may want to give you something or it could be something materialistic this person um or you is i feel like is working from home with that ten of pentacles and it's also new beginnings. So tens are about endings for new beginnings as well. But here's a three of swords. What's the three of swords doing here? Um, somebody feel heartbroken or somebody's having heart. Could have been from somebody who broke your heart. Okay. This situation. There could have been somebody who's involved in a third party. For some of you past, some of you now, some of you in the future, maybe. Maybe there was a heartbreak here from this person. Maybe you experienced a heartbreak. Somebody could have heartburn. <laughs> no, I say that because this is on fire right here. Somebody could be getting over a heartbreak. You know, now, you know, whoever, I feel like this is the way I'm seeing it. Somebody that you used to probably used to deal with for some of you or something of that nature that you made up your mind that they are stable or they've grown or something like that or they may have done this to you and now they want to nurture this relationship they have things to offer or something to offer or see there's an offering here and it's, uh there's messages of lots of communication coming in it, it, and there's travel as well. And the areas have fun, having fun times, you know, having fun. It also can be third party situation, but not by the surrounding cards that I'm looking at. Um, and again, it could have been someone who had broken your heart in the past, but they're, they're trying to start all over again and make it better. All right. Yeah, and the Queen of Swords, you're definitely on your A game. It's like, okay, you know what? You did you broke my heart in the past. I'm giving you a chance. Or somebody could be thinking about like this to you. Uh, but def best believe that, you know, if, if any of this stuff happens again or if it's happening, uh, you're definitely gonna get cut off or you're cutting somebody off if 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 any of this crap is going on. Because um You're definitely going to stand your ground. You're not going to tolerate any type of bullshit from nobody. You're not. That's the way I see it. You're not going to tolerate that. <clears throat> Somebody going to. They, if this is going. If this is a third party situation, which I'm not really thinking it could be for some of you, and for some of you, it's just like you know a, a, something new starting all over again some of you can be op having a new relationship with somebody new after a, a heartbreak or with somebody that you that had broken your heart before okay then you're and you're giving them a second chance or they giving you a second chance something like that but you're you're really like on guard using your intuition the queen of uh the queen or the king of swords are, is very intelligent very um psychic and intuitive so they really, pay, you see how focused they are, but they got that sword there too, saying like, okay, we, you know, I hear you, I see you. And that bull, I believe is her angel guide or her spirit guides really protecting her. Okay. Because, you know, when you suffer something like this, uh, and it's not your fault or the other person's fault, you really get to be protected by spirit and, and you don't want to mess around with this queen here if if there's a third party situation and they find out they will just cut you right off like act just like they don't even know you and it will not happen again is what i'm picking up it will not happen again that would be it that's going to be it with the queen she don't once she cuts something off and and you know especially after a heartbreak and it happens again they kind of like that they're done they're done. So they're on their guard. They're on their P's and Q's. They may not act like it because Aquarius can act a little aloof sometimes. People get thrown off by that and think they're silly or crazy or something like that. But they really got, they really are sharp. They really are sharp. They pick up on things. So 
please don't play with this person or 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 Aquarius don't play with someone else okay because it'll definitely be the end of that for good there'll be no more there's no coming back from it but you'll be fine though because you or someone else you know will be good you'll be fine because the uh, the queen or the king of of uh King or the Queen of uh, Swords is always good. They always good. They don't really because it's almost like they ex they expect something anyway. That's their intuition. That's their psychic ability, and it don't phase them when they cut somebody off because it's almost like they were <laughs> kind of no. But I, for some people, I'm seeing it like, you know, you were hurt by somebody that's trying to make it up to you. and But you're like watching out like, you know, you hurt me. And um, let me tell you something. Let me catch it again. Let it happen again. Not saying that they care or not that they, you know, but it, it's just you. It, that's the way you've grown since that heartbreak. You've grown. That's what I see. Now, let's see something else. What else we got going on for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Okay. Nine of Swords, your energy, <clears throat> or some of y'all being up at night, <clears throat> can't sleep, you're worried. What's going on? Or someone around you could be exhibiting this, staying up at night, could be worried, could be insomnia, could be. We could be worried about someone or something, some situation. Could be uh, the hermit, which is a Virgo. Some of you could be dealing with a Virgo. Maybe they're worried or up at night or, you know, and worried about something. And this hermit or Virgo person is looking at you like, what are you doing? Because... <laughs> You know, they just chilling. You know what I'm saying? They like a loner. They stay to their self. Um, they ain't bothering nobody. Don't like nobody bothering them. And they're very, very wise. Okay? Maybe you're taking on this energy or you need to take on this energy of the hermit or there's somebody around you like this. Kind of being this cold person. Um... The Queen of Swords again comes up. That's your energy, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. What are we going on? Twenty-seven minutes. Um, somebody could feel like you're being cold, unemotional, or there could be somebody around this person who is cold and unemotional. They could be a little stiff sometimes. Because there's, this is, a, you know, just, a, you know, the sword's about your thoughts, okay? Just up and somebody could be up in their head thinking about you or you're thinking about this person or something. But you're calm and cool and collective. You know that much. You got that sword up like, <laughs> we already done been through that, okay? It's, um, with the King of Cups, somebody's. They're thinking about love. They got love. You know what I mean? The King of Cups is somebody who is very sincere. Um, they're non-emotional too, even though they could be a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio who are very emotional people. Uh, but this King of Cups is not emotional. They usually are somebody who has their emotions intact, but they do have love. They just don't show it as much. They don't show it. They kind of keep their emotions to their self. But there is love because that's what this represents. They have emotions. They got feelings. They got love for you. And this Knight of Cups, look, they may be wanting to propose to you or, you know, make up to you or something like that. This person's got flowers in their hand or on their knee. Okay? So, yeah. Yeah. Somebody loves you or you love somebody or it's, it's both ways or something. Yeah, look, Ten of Pentacles. Somebody wants a uh, family with you or you want a family with someone. It could be a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, a Virgo in particular, or somebody that has your same energy. Yeah, um, 
they want a happy home. Yeah, they want a happy home. They want a new beginning is what I'm seeing here for you, Aquarius, or you want a new beginning with somebody. Okay, so there, there goes some more messages for you now. See what other messages we may have for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. It could be another scenario where somebody's afraid you're going to break up with them or leave, you know, lead them or you feel like they're going to do that to you. But it's like either way it goes, you're going to be fine or you know what I mean? It's going to work out okay because this person's got love for you and you got love for them with that knight and that king, um, the knight and the um, king of cups. It's like they, it's like they're maturing into you, like maturing can I say that? But you're being a little, you're being, you're being cautious. I know that much with that queen being there. You definitely want uh being cautious and, and, and observing this person every making sure. Excuse me if I'm okay. Let's see what we got here. See, see, Aquarius, y'all, you know what? You guys are going to be abundant together. You're going to get, you're going to be very abundant. Very abundant. And you got the power card too. I don't know. I think it came up in somebody else's reading. I don't know which one it was, but the power card came up. It's like abundance and power together. This is like a, a, a power couple doing some stuff together to really really make it in life really have a good life it's like nothing can bring you down nothing you done been through it all you done been through it so trust okay trust calm yourself heal yourself okay and study too somebody might be going back to school Somebody might be studying somebody's ways or whatever, kind of keeping their guards up, okay? But there is a, a certain amount of um, where you're going to be very abundant, getting a lot of, you're going to be okay. Blessed is abundance because you're going to have that, you got that power now. You got the power. You can call on your angel guides and spirit guides. They with you. They down with you, okay? Because you're doing the right thing. Okay, now we're going to take a look at my cards here and give you a message from there. They're called the uh, iMessages. They're available on my website if you'd like to purchase. Okay, here's your card. Okay, this makes sense too because of that heartbreak card that you had. I feel like you need to, you know, hear this. Be thankful for bad relationships because good or bad, past or present, he or she made you the person that you are today. And that's something else too. That is abundance. You know, sometimes heartbreak brings on, a, if you move forward from it, you know, if you pull yourself together like you had it, you know, in your, um, find your, your peace, uh, the, the chariot, like you're like on the go, you're on the go, uh, Aquariuses, all right? That's what this reminds me of, you know, good or bad, whoever this person that hurt you, gave you a heartbreak, or, you know, if it is coming up, it's no problem, because you know what? It's because of them that's making you the person that you are, okay? Because sometimes we have to feel the pain in order to, to feel the fire and push through, and just push through. That's all you do is push through. You don't let it hinder you, because sometimes karma, which is, karma is nothing but the universe that what you put out into the universe, is what you receive back in. So if you're doing something wrong to someone or someone's doing something wrong to you, it's a blessing in your favor if you're not doing anything wrong. Remember that. And that's that goes for anybody out there. You know, if you're doing the right thing, you're, you know, you're trying to do the right thing and you're putting that energy out in the universe 
and somebody else is just, you know, trying to, you know, uh, hurt you or backstab you or whatever it is that they're doing. The universe sees what they're doing. You don't have to see it. All you have to do is keep it moving. Okay. And the universe will take care of them because they'll give them exactly what you they gave to you or vice versa. If you're doing, if it is anything with any of you out there, whatever you do to someone will come back to you, whether it's good or whether it's bad. Because that's how the universe operate. They they see, they know, and then when it comes back, it comes back tenfold. It, 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 if it's a, if it's not a good thing, it ain't gonna be a good thing. Not for you if you're doing something you ain't supposed to be doing. And I'm speaking worldwide. Whoever's watching this video about that, you you just can't do things like that to people and feel like you're gonna get away with it unless you got a, a, a some something wrong with you. If you feel that way, because I'm going to tell you, you're going to feel the fire and it's in that other person. You just like, they're just like, you they, you made them your step stool. They're just going to keep going higher and higher. That's all. So there's, I don't know, spirit want me to say that. Okay. So congratulations, Aquarius. Y'all hang in there. You're doing great. Okay. And have a great December. If you need that personal private reading for any type, you know, feeling like you need, you know, some clarity. And some advice from spirit just give me a call all information is listed below and i'll talk to you guys later bye bye